so thank god this is the last noise model there were so many noise models and this is the sixth and the last one will be starting which is called impulse noise and it is also called salt and pepper noise right so why is it called salt and pepper noise because if you see that if this is the original image and if i add impulse noise into it then this is how you'll see like you know it seems like there are a lot of pepper and salt granules over there right so uh, how is it uh, like this thing right so for that first of all uh, let's just see this thing right we'll later on come to graph and this expression but before that let's let's just look into this thing so in case of impulse noise this is what we have right so this is i of x comma y which is the intensity or uh, which i'll be filling in my 2d image array right so if my probability of that intensity lies between 0 to d by 2 right so it's not confirmed that here will be equal to or here will be equal to right so this is just i have taken it in your books it is just written that if the probability of intensity lies between 0 to d by 2 then the intensity will be assigned 0 over there right so your final image i'm talking about the final image this is how it gets added it's not that if you have a certain intensity say 127 so it will just add right so it's that it will assign zero to that particular value and that is the reason you get like white intensities and black intensities because the exact intensity values are assigned in there so when if the probability lies from d by 2 to d then it will be assigned 255 directly so here it is zero zero intensity means black that's why it is called pepper here it is called 225 225 means white so that's why it's called salt so when the uh, the probability of that intensity value will lie from zero to d to d by two uh, there will be presence of pepper noise over there when it lies between d by two to d then it will be having the salt noise which is white spot over there cool so and if it lies from d to 1 in between d to 1 interval it will be that intensity value as it is like just see over here this region right just see a little bit this is a small region but this remains unaffected right it is same as it is over here so same value of i of x comma y is been you can say devoted or imparted over there right so what is d now d is nothing but density of noise okay density of noise like we have not talked about this term in all your videos so what is this d right so whenever uh, you'll be asked to manipulate an image as per the impulse noise we'll be doing the numericals right to so that you have a clearer idea that how the noise affects my image so for the impulse noise this thing d which is the density of noise will be given to you so what is this density right so density is any number you will be having between 0 to 1 right so you have number from 0 to 1 that is why these three things are uh, defined over there so you have a number between 0 to 1 and this will dictate that how many pixels will be affected by the noise so how it is okay supposedly you have an image of 300 cross 400 so 300 cross 400 gives me 1 lakh 20 thousand pixels so if my d is 0 0.2 so multiply 0 0.2 by 1 lakh 20 thousand you will have 24,000 pixels so which means that overall 24,000 pixels will be affected by my noise so more the value of d it means more my pixels will be affected by noise cool so what happens now we had 24,000 pixels approximately what happens is that nearly half of half which is uh, 12,000 pixels whose intensity has probability less than 0.1 becomes black that is zero right so like d was what i said d is 0 0.2 so half of 0.2 is 0 0.1 so out of these approximately 12000 will become black that is zero and approximately 12000 will become white that is 255 right so uh, basically uh, which 12000 pixels right uh, now we said that okay 12000 but out of 12,000 or uh, like 24,000, sorry, we have 12,000 which will become black and we have 12,000 which will become white. But which 12,000 will become black and which 12,000 will become white? 
that is this d right those which have the value from 0 to d by 2 so d is what d is 0 0.2 so 0 0.2 is half is 0 0.1 so from 0 to 0 0.1 they will become 0. So, 0 0.1 to 0 0.2 will become 255 and rest will remain same. That is what I have written over here that pixels whose intensity has probability less than 0 0.1 that is from 0 to 0 0.1 and those will have the probability between 0 0.1 and 0 0.2 will become wide. That is what my impulse noise it but if those who are just thinking about probability what is this probability you would have done histogram equalization right so what in histogram equalization what you do like you just see the frequency of all the intensities values like you see how many times 255 comes how many times 127 comes right so if you want to see the probability of 130 and you have total of say these many pixels so you will get probability by number of time, times 123 appears in your image divided by this number that is total number so that is the probability what i mean over here i hope it's clear to you that how this impulse noise impacts so i'll be given d so out of as per my value of d which is the density of noise i'll be seeing that how many overall pixels will get affected so i'll just nearly do half of it and half of them will be affected by salt noise half of them will be affected by pepper noise for the salt noise will be having intensity 255 and for the pepper noise will be having intensity zero and otherwise it will remain the same so another way of expressing it is like this anyhow they are supposed to get added correct so when uh, so that's why i we said the intensity remains same so intensity remains same which means zero is being added right so here it is 255 we said that p of z will be this thing and this will be p naught of zero right so you need not to remember this if you remember this this is also perfect this is a better way to learn it and to visualize it right so some extra information is that if either is zero either is zero means if either this probability is zero this is zero which means that either there is only uh, salt noise or there is only pepper noise then the impulse noise is called unipolar of course it will be unipolar because it's having only salt or it is having only pepper granules right so if neither probability is zero which means both have certain values especially when they are approximately equal right uh, e impulse noise values will resemble salt and pepper renews of course like if the both the probabilities are same which means if you see 10 pixels with salt intensity which is 255 intensity similarly you'll see 10 pixels with pepper intensity like it is so great to visualize right so that will be randomly distributed over the image and for this reason, the bipolar impulse noise, which is also called salt and pepper or data dropout or spike noise. So just remember, when we talk about impulse noise, now impulse noise, generally we talk about bipolar by default. Okay. Bipolar means there will be present both the uh, white ones and the black ones that is salt and pepper both but if we say it's uh, unipolar then will be only salt or there will be only what is going to be present perfect only salt or only pepper so here you can see that at intensity a or at intensity b we have the spikes right so there will be these spikes like a all of a sudden right and you know one very interesting thing about this impulse noise is that this noise you will just see quite often during transmission like supposedly if i have an image in my computer right and i s upload it to my youtube link or i just whatsapp it to you so during the transmission the noise which gets introduced is this impulse noise and it is also called outlier noise you know why it is called outlier noise because this too we have just done uh, you know this image which you saw we have just done the uh, matlab function right we have introduced this much noise but generally this noise it is called outlier noise why it is so what is outlier outlier is like 
something which does not follow the fashion as is the normal fashion like if you have all the intensity values in say ranging from 250 to 255 and suddenly you have a zero so that's an outlier right which which is a, a group which is away from your normal group so why is it outlier because journey during transmission if you have so many bits right like if it's a grayscale image it's an 8-bit image so overall uh, as per the total size of the image there will be just two bits corrupted by impulse noise or there will be one bit corrupted by impulse noise so because the number of bits which are uh, corrupted by this noise are quite less so that is the reason we also call it as the outlier noise and you can also call it the noise during transmission we some people say that this is the noise during networking or and similarly this noise also uh, comes into picture when there is some dust on camera lens or there are certain faulty sensor regions when you'd be experience this impulse noise but believe me this is very interesting because uh, you can visualize it very good right and also of mathematically also this is having a very easy expression and the best thing is that we might have experienced this noise without even knowing it like when uh, we share multiple images throughout on the internet on whatsapp and but we are not able to see that okay maybe there is some salt of pepper noise why because out of so many bytes like you just see that when you download any video or you download any image so that's of certain mb only right and out of those mb there are just bits few bits so we of course that's not uh you know if you just zoom every part and you just see it maybe then maybe then like not sure you find that uh there is some noise over there so that is the beauty of this noise model and now we have completed the noise models and if you have any doubt you can just email uh at the email id which is concepts in depth and easy at the rate of gmail.com so thanks a lot thanks for watching and have a great day